What's up guys, thanks for checking back in. Kind of a funny story this morning. So I was uh, dead set on heading to this one area. Uh, I went to bed last night, you know, thinking up a plan. I don't know if you guys do this too, but every time before fishing, I'm always figuring out which baits I'm gonna throw first, all that stuff. But so anyway, I was thinking that, I was dead set on going to that one area. And for whatever reason this morning when I got up, I just wasn't feeling it. So. I had a feeling that this area might produce uh, more of what we're looking for, so we'll see if it works. I'm out here bright and early. I think it's about 6 a.m. right now. Just paddling out. And the target today is really going to be whatever's biting, but if I catch a halibut, that would make today's success. So, like I said, just making the paddle out now. Might try and see if we can jig up some live bait if I can see some on the way out. And uh, we'll take it from there. Alright guys, it took me a while to find them, but finally found a nice little school of anchovies here. And this is going to be perfect bait for us. And they're not too bad size-wise either. Not giant, but plenty good enough for a halibut or a lingcod to come eat it. So we're just going to jig out up maybe 10, 15 or so of these. And then we're going to head out and Look for the big boys. One tip when you have live bait is you always want to keep circulating the water, especially if you don't have a pump. Okay, I don't have it on a kayak here, so fresh water every, uh, I mean, depending on how many baits you are, but if you ever see them starting to swim a little bit slower, looks like they're getting a little bit weak, switch out the water and give them some fresh oxygen. That'll uh, keep them alive a lot longer. Alright, we're all baited up. Now we gotta go get the big boys. There we go. That's what's on the menu today. Fresh, live anchovies. So here's the deal for today. Just got a little slider, the four ounce sinker to our leader, and then a single J hook here. And that's where we're gonna put our anchovies on. So let me get a lively one out of here. Here's our live anchovy. Just like that. We wanna get it down while it's still kicking. Hopefully a halibut will find it. All we're going to do is just drop it down to the bottom, bring it up a couple cranes because there are some rocks out here we don't want to get snagged, but we do want to get as close to the bottom as possible. There we go. Now we wait. What's going up with it? What do we have here? Fish. Well, not exactly the target species. Guys, there's our first game fish of the day. A little olive rock fish. These are actually really good eating, but I think we're going to toss this one back in hopes that we can land ourselves a halibut today. So, back he goes. Maybe later on the day, if we uh, don't get anything else, we might have to keep some of these. But there's our first fish. We'll let him go. Another rockfish. Yep, another olive there. I think we're gonna have to get away from this spot because one bad thing about anchovies is everything will eat them, including these guys, and these guys aren't what we're looking for today, so we'll toss this guy back. And another. Gotta get away from these guys. Well, I think it's another rockfish, but maybe a little bit bigger one.
Oh, a kelp greenling. Oh, something a little bit different. Nice little kelp greenling there. Still not the halibut, but these are cool looking fish. Actually, I don't think I've caught one of these on the channel yet. So these are kelp greenling, cool looking fish. They kind of almost look like in between a rockfish and a lingcod, but just another member of the rockfish species. Cool looking fish, but not what we're looking for today. Do we have this time? Oh wow. So rockfish have all different kinds of colors, shapes, and this is one of the cooler ones in this area. This is a vermilion rockfish. Pretty cool, nice red color. And these, uh, these are one of the more prized uh, rockfish around here, mainly because they get bigger than the rest of them. And, uh, uh, Think about keeping them, but I think I'll just let them go. Now, these guys are actually notorious for uh, basically living a long time. I think they can live up to like 100 years old, something like that. This one is probably, even though it's not that big, it's probably five, six, seven years old. I don't know, I'm just guessing, but they take a long time to mature, and it's one reason why there's not too many of them because, uh, like I said, they're one of the more prized ones and they grow for a long time mature at a later age relative to uh, the other rockfish. So I'll let this guy go, even though these are uh, really good tasting. Definitely good for the table, but I'm searching for something bigger today, so we'll let this guy go. Probably gonna get some heat in the comments for letting that one go. Alright guys, I think that's going to wrap it up for us today. We did catch a few nice rockfish in that one vermilion, which is pretty nice. Um, but it's just a little bit too windy, a little bit too much swell, so I think I'm going to head in and really, we got away from the rockfish, but then we also got away from really any fish. I haven't really had any bites since that last vermilion, so I think we're just going to head in, call it a day. If you're a follower of this channel, you know that I, I do fish the bad weather all the time at the beach, but uh, that only applies when I'm on land. When you're out in the ocean, uh, you don't want to mess around because the ocean is no joke. Anytime there's uh, too much wind, too much swell, you don't want to push it, especially on a kayak like this. We're going to head in, wrap it up, and uh, we'll move on to the second part of this video, which is probably what, ooh, see, that's what I'm talking about. The swell starts breaking like that, splashing you, you don't want to mess around, you don't want to risk it. So, better safe than sorry, we're going to head in and move on to the second portion of this video, which is probably what most of you guys are waiting for anyway. Uh, we're gonna announce the winner of the More The Fishing Tournament. We'll catch you back at the house. All right guys, just a quick interlude here. I actually just tried to quick film a quick video out at the beach, try and catch a, another striper here, but we didn't catch any fish. But we did accomplish something, so we'll take a quick clip here. All right guys, I forgot my uh, sweatshirt today. I'm here at the beach, it's a little bit cold, so I had to pull out my rain jacket out of the trunk. Let me remind you, I don't think I've used this since I filmed the Surf Perch Barbecue Catch and Cook on the Beach, which was, I don't know, just January, February maybe, I don't remember. Anyway, I pulled it out, and what do you know, there was a sand crab in the pocket. So, needless to say, I think I found another reason why my car was smelling like sand crab for the last uh, four or five months. So yeah, not exactly my plan to get out there and on the beach, but hey, at least we accomplished something. But anyways, back to the uh, point of this video. So we're gonna pick a random comment from one of my previous videos where I said I was gonna give away a free entry to the More Than Fishing Tournament. And if you wanna learn more about the tournament, I'll uh, leave a link in the description below. But 
We had 202 comments on the video, which is a lot better than last year. I actually did the same giveaway last year, so pretty pretty happy about that. Thank you guys for uh, entering. So all we're going to do here is pick a quick winner, randomly pick winner. <laughs> all right, guys. Well, you're not going to believe this, but literally it's the same exact person that won it last year. I wouldn't believe it if I didn't see it with my own eyes, but there you have it. Big Wu, once again the winner. I kind of wanted to get someone new, but hey, he won it fair and square. So there you go. If you're out there at Big Wu, just send me an email. Same thing as last year. Uh, it's kind of funny. You're winning it again. So shoot me an email, send me your name, and I'll give you that free entry. So anyways, sorry to everyone else who entered, but hey, maybe we'll do it again next year. And who knows, maybe he'll win again. Probably not, but you never know. So anyway... Thank you guys for watching. Uh, we'll catch you on the next adventure.